What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Scotty Pippen has been doing a lot of bitching lately, taking shots at Michael Jordan, uh, especially in his, you know interview with GQ about his new book Unguarded and he's believing that he's as good as Michael Jordan was which is a lie uh, Phil Jackson just everybody okay and uh, he's still having a problem with I believe the way that Michael ja uh, Jordan was portrayed in this, in this newest documentary that came out last year but the reality is is that there was some certain, there was a certain amount of questions positioned to Scottie Pippen about Larsa Pippen and how he felt about her sleeping with Future. Okay. Now, here, here's the interesting thing. Scottie seemed to be really, really, really mad at Michael Jordan and still pissed at Michael Jordan. However, the woman that he was married to and had children with for many years, he had very little to say. He did say that when Future made that song and mentioned his name, he thought that was childish. But he said that toward the end of the career, and I'm kind of summing it up. He said that what happened with Lars Pippen didn't bother him. And he felt the relationship was over at that time, even though they were not officially divorced. In other words, he knew that she was for the streets. And I want to talk to guys about that because people tend to change as you get older, especially friends. And for those of you guys who are old, you know, you're getting older, um, you might, you know, really love a friend, but you know, as you get older, people change and you're doing something different and they're still staying the same. So there's not a real reason for you to really talk to them anymore. And it's not to be mean, it's just that you're on two different trajectories. Relationships are the same way. A woman can find out something different about herself. You can find out something different about herself. And, and, and what you could have found out is at first, when you're dealing with her, because a lot of things can happen with dealing with women. They can get influenced by other women. Like I, I, I've seen it in just of my life. I knew a young lady who was a complete church girl. She started hanging out with some thotties. Now she's in Dubai, blonde hair, weaving and sailing. Um, Buddha got my sounds. Getting hit from the back by, by, by dudes in Dubai. Within two years, she wasn't like that. She was a nice church girl and then she started she got dotted out similarly with, with women they can hang around people they can hang around friends they can be shaped by what's on television and all of a sudden that woman is different or that inner thadiana to come out and a lot of guys can see the transitions happening and in scotty pippen's position for the years that he was in the nba he probably didn't know because I want to talk to you guys out there who work, uh, you know, jobs and you, you have careers and your wife is, is at home. You're on the road. What can happen without you knowing is that while you're on the road and you're working, you know, you don't really see the changes because you're in and out. Maybe she's there one day or two days of the week. And every time you spend with her, it's a good time because you're not really spending time with her that much. But then what happens if you are now there all the time? You get to see them for who she is. Okay? You get to see it. This is why so many people broke up during COVID. Why? Because you had people who were married for a long period of time, but they were kind of like part-time marriages. And then when they got like a real long stretch to be together, they found out like, damn, I don't really like her. I don't really like him. 
And then when you realize you don't like him, it's like, uh oh, damn, I didn't know she was for the streets like this, right? And then at, at certain points, you try to you try to avoid it. You try to you know she ain't coming home on time, or what's going on with me? And that's the situation too. A lot of black men like to blame themselves. Like, well, what's what? What is it about me that's making the relationship bad? And that's a good question because sometimes it could be you. You know, we got to be accountable. I think that's a good question. But then when you realize that whether it's you or not, and there's nothing that you can do about it, it, it has to come to the terminology, or not the terminology, but, but the, the terminus of the relationship, that this is over. And she's for the streets. Or we're not compatible. So if she's out with Future and Future makes a diss songs about you and he says, you know, I screwed your wife and all this other stuff. Well, the reality is, is that you couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop it. See, that's the thing that a lot of guys want to get mad about things that you can't stop. Okay. I, I had a girlfriend before. I was really, really crazy about her. I tell the story all the time. I just left. The countries that she was in came back, got her iPhone. In three months, she was another dude. Within six months, she was pregnant. Within a year, she had a baby. Was she dusty afterwards? Of course. Was she struggling and standing in love? Of course. Was she trying to come back? Of course. Was I mad? Yes, I was mad. But guess what? There ain't nothing I can do about it. If he would have called me on it, but like, I'm screwing your chick. Ain't nothing I can do about it. And it don't matter. I'm getting rich now. He can have her all he want. God bless you. May God keep you. I know that you don't have as much money as me. And, and, and you, you got that problem now. Thank God for you. It was torn in anyway. Let me go ahead and you take her. You inherit her, and she and she has some good she has some good stuff now. I ain't gonna lie, it, 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 it was it was it was off the chain, but but go head on and deal with her. Go head on, it's okay. Because she was for the streets. Now you get to deal with that. I get to deal with these euros and these dollars over here. I'm 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 perfectly fine with that. But I like the fact that he didn't get mad. He not even worried about her. Because look at what happened after Future. Then there was the Beasley guy. was the Beasley guy Malik Beasley so then you go thought it up with Future and then you go thought it up with Michael Beasley and then at that point he like okay well she just thought it up with everybody so it ain't me she getting into it with, with the Kardashian it ain't me so she's weaving the sandal with everybody that I, okay so then I'm vindicated then so it wasn't really my fault okay cool well let me just you know I, I'm cool with that it's fine and I wish that a lot of black men could really look at it like that. That once you know that it's over, just come to terms with it. Let her go out and stand a little up with somebody else. You're not gonna miss nothing, trust me. You guys not missing anything. A lot of y'all think y'all missing something or somebody. No, you're not. No, you're not. Come back in 10 years. You'll see what you've missed. You won't even be thinking about it. Okay, it's plenty of women out here in the world that you can talk to that one right there that you got ain't it so guys what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump I really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe with the bell check out the first count at the top and as you know the buffoonery remains at all time high I'm a